48 hours without a fever feels great. I feel like a human being again. Speaking of human beings, Pentagon releases UFO videos and nobody bats an eye. Who cares about aliens? I don't think we can understand aliens. Like understand the fourth dimension. Could you understand what 4D is? You can smell the movie too. That's what it is. We're so arrogant, we're like, ugh. If there are aliens, they would totally come to our planet and take over. Aliens don't care about you. You got into an argument the other day about whether Michelle Obama is a man. Because saying that aliens care about us is like saying that we care about uh, like an anthill in Africa. I have nothing to contribute to that anthill and that anthill has nothing to contribute to me. So I'm gonna live my life. It's cool that it exists. There are probably so many cooler planets than ours. Earth is the Nebraska of planets. Nebraska's cool for what it is, but would you want to go to Nebraska or the Grand Canyon? Look at Earth, it's fine. Let's keep going. They dump their own garbage in their ocean, the thing that gives the planet life. Why would we want to stop there? Hi, my name's David, I'm the ambassador for Earth, and this message is for the aliens who are thinking about invading. Earth. How we support people during good times, more than bad times, actually affects the quality of a relationship. How do you respond when a loved one or a friend or a close coworker comes to you with good news? Now there's only one type of response to someone's good news that contributes positively to the relationship, but there's plenty that don't work. For example, passive responses like, oh, that's nice. That's almost as harmful to the relationship as being negative about it. Hi, I got a promotion. Oh, good, a promotion. Now you're not gonna be able to spend any time with the kids. That's not the right response. Most destructive response though is ignoring the news entirely. When someone comes to you with good news and you ignore it, you might as well just consider yourself not their friend. But the best response is to be both active and constructive. So offer enthusiastic support and make specific comments and have follow-up questions. Oh, you got promoted, like, what happened? What does that mean? What are you doing next? Are you excited? Be excited about other people's good news. Even if you have a bad day, sometimes it's hard to be excited about other people's good news. It's important to work on being present, especially when we're having a conversation with somebody. You know, real connection requires active listening and active listening is giving someone your full attention. And in a lot of cases, and I'm guilty of it too, we listen but we're waiting for an opportunity to make our own point. Instead, focus on what the person is actually saying, actually saying, like not even with their words, like non-verbally, what are they saying? And, and then ask questions, ask interested questions, open-ended questions to learn more. Practice frequent recognition, gratitude, when they do even the littlest thing, you know, be grateful for them, be openly grateful for people. It's okay to be openly grateful now. Give people honest feedback too. You know, if they ask for your opinion, don't just be like, oh, you look great. If they don't look great or if they didn't do as good of a job as you think they can, there are ways to give them feedback in a way that doesn't shoot them down, but actually lifts them up. Accentuate the good times, because there's gonna be bad times. So accentuate the good time so that when those bad times do arise, it's easier to remember what happened during the good times and how you were there to, to boost one another up. I think it's people from the future we're visiting to anally probe people in the past. Like, yeah, I got laid last night. <laughs> you got laid? Well, I searched the rectum of an Ohio man from 2020. Right around the time of that virus. Remember that from history class? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, share it with your friends. I'm just trying to bring some happiness into the world when it seems like there's so much negativity and pessimism. We need to be able to take a step back.